found this old rusty bark bar beside the road. Wondered how I was going to get all that rust off. I looked on YouTube and somebody was, was using molasses, a mix of one part molasses and ten parts water to get rust off. I said, well that sounds cheap enough, we'll give that a go. Wonder what container I could put in. Well I looked around and I found this piece of uh, 1.9 metre long sewer pipe, 100 mil ID. And the Burke bar was 1.4, so that'll work well. And you notice that I put a little cap on the bottom of it. Always find it better with the cap, the stuff runs out if you don't. Anyway, calculated out we needed about 11 litres. That's one litre of molasses by volume. Weighs about 1.2, as you can see the cost there, $32.99 for 25 litres. I didn't really hunt around to get the best price, but that costs about $1.88, that's not going to break the bank. Anyway, there's me one litre of molasses. Now we're going to mix that with 10 litres of water. And then we're going to put it in the, the tube. Now, I've thought about this and I'm a home brewer and I know that if I power the water into the wort, that's the mix, beer mix. If I power the water into there and then put the yeast in, the yeast starts much quicker with its work than if I don't. And what I'm thinking here is someone might have another theory or someone might have a better idea, I don't know, but what I'm thinking is the yeast is grabbing the oxygen out of the iron oxide to help it dissolve and uh, eat the sugars in the molasses. Consequently, the oxygen's gone and the iron that's left behind just falls into the uh, into the mix. Anyway, here's the Burke bar. I put an old coat hanger on it so that uh, I can get it in and out. We're slipping it in there. Down she goes. It's caught on something. There it goes. Okay, we're gonna put that away for a week or so. Actually, what I did was to hurry it up. Normally, it would just get the natural yeast out of the air, but I put a, a tablespoon of uh, the brewer's yeast in there and it was cranking away after about two days. Big pile of scum on top. Anyway, here we are with the high pressure cleaner. It was a bit more than a week. I was busy the day the week came up. So it's 10 days, but it's as clean as clean anyway. We're gonna get, the, oh, oops. No, we'll um, better empty it out first, I think. We'll squirt a couple of loads up into there to clean it up, then we'll put it in the sun somewhere, upside down so that all that's inside can drain out, and then we'll um, give it a coat of paint. Turn it around and give it another go. Anyway, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. Beauty of molasses, of course, is molasses is a non-toxic product. You can put it on the garden, you can put it on your lawn. It's good for fertiliser, won't harm the environment. You can do other things with acids and then how do you get rid of the byproducts? Well, this is pretty simple. Anyway, there you go. We've given it a coat of paint, a bit rough, but doesn't look bad, does it? <laughs>